Hey, I'm Pat, welcome to Daily Devo. Today we're asking, where is our confidence? Hey my friends, today's Daily Devo requires you not to shut it off halfway through. This is one that you must listen to in its entirety and you're gonna see what I mean in a moment. In Psalms chapter 146, there are a great handful of verses near the beginning. Let me read them, Psalm 146, verses three through six. Don't put your confidence in powerful people. There is no help for you there. When they breathe their last, they return to the earth and all their plans die with them. But joyful are those who have the God of Israel as their helper, whose hope is in the Lord their God. He made heaven and earth, the sea, and everything in them. Notice that the psalmist is juxtaposing the reality of our temporary situation as human beings with the eternality of God. Look again at what he says in verse 3. Don't put your confidence in powerful people there is no help for you there. When they breathe their last, they return to the earth, listen, and their plans die with them. Okay, this is gonna sound a bit depressing, but, but bear with me. The reality for you and me, if Jesus doesn't come back first, is that someday we will be on our deathbed and there will be an invisible group in that room with us. On that day, standing around you will be the plans that you never accomplished, the dreams you never chased, the hopes that never came to fruition. And this invisible audience will mourn with you. Why? Because they were never given life. The reality is that all of us, every single one of us, will get to the end of our life and have plans and dreams that were never given a chance. Or as the psalmist writes, they're going to, die with us. <laughs> Bummer of a message so far, but bear with me. Some of you are thinking, wow, Pat, this is so motivating and inspired, but bear with me. I, I know, I recognize that at this point it sounds a bit depressing, but look at verse 5, where the writer will now contrast our temporal existence with all its realities of dead dreams and plans to the eternal hope in God. In fact, it starts with a big but. And remember, I always tell you, look for the big buts in scripture. Watch this, verse five, but, big but, but joyful are those who have the God of Israel as their helper, whose hope is in the Lord their God. He made heavens and earth, the sea, and everything in them. Notice the first two words of verse five, but joyful. The prior verses were a bit sobering, maybe even a bit depressing, convincing all of us that we will one day die and our dreams and plans will die with us. However, but that is not the end of the story. The author immediately points out where joy comes into this scenario. But joyful are those who have the God of Israel as their helper, whose hope is in the Lord our God. Why? Why is there joy in putting our hope in God? Well, in this case, because of a simple but profound word at the end of verse 6. What's the word? Forever. Do you get it? Do you see it? The writer is being painfully truthful with us, saying, Hey, listen, you will die someday, and your dreams and plans will die with you. So you know what? Do not put your hope in yourself or your dreams and plans, but, but, but we do have a God that is eternal and his promises last. How long do they last? How long? Forever. Today. Or, or maybe even right now, would you pause and allow a smile to spread across your heart and soul and maybe even make its way to your face 
and smile as you meditate and contemplate that we don't serve a finite, temporal, weak God who is unable to fulfill his promises and plans. No, we serve a God who is so big, so powerful, so amazing that he guarantees you and I that every single plan and dream that he has made and that he has made specifically for you and me, that every single one of those will come to fruition. He keeps every promise forever.